Five-year-old William Pacheco doesn't like getting vaccinated, but his mother Elizabeth couldn't be happier. He suffers from a rare disease. She says he sometimes runs from the house, putting his life in danger, but now he is protected. Now I'll be relaxed with the vaccine. I know that he will be protected because at some point he gets infected. I won't be afraid that he could die. Peru's government has launched a vaccination campaign for 5 to 11-year-olds. The aim is to vaccinate 4.3 million nationwide. The Omicron variant has health workers worried, especially here at the National Institute of Children's Health. Doctors here treat rare or grave medical conditions. The COVID cases have increased. In two years, we've treated 5,000 children with respiratory conditions and 350 were COVID. This year alone, we already have 800 patients diagnosed and it's because of Omicron. The health ministry says nearly 850 children have died after contracting coronavirus since the pandemic began. Infected children occupy two thirds of all intensive care beds. The health minister says the number of children who test positive for COVID-19 is likely to rise. This as health authorities warn they are close to issuing a red alert as there are only a few ICU beds left for children around the country. <laughs> Doctors and parents hope the vaccination campaign goes swiftly, especially because schools are expected to reopen in March. For two years, most children have remained at home. Leonie Lopez says his seven-year-old boy's neuropathic illness worsened. The need to walk and walk, the stress of not going out, seeing friends or the countryside, being in open spaces has been very hard for them. Experts say the lockdown has had a devastating psychological effect on kids. But Leoni says his son can make up for some of the lost time and get some relief, with the certainty, though, that he is protected against the virus. Mariana Sanchez Al Jazeera, Lima, Peru.